Hello! So I thought I would just quickly show you my new floors. Yay! New floors! Um, so these are the new floors. This is my bedroom. Nothing fancy. But, yeah, the floors just look amazing. So, yeah, I'll be filming soon. See you soon. Bye-bye! Hello! So I thought I'd quickly sneak in this video while my daughter's having her nap. But in the background you can see that the floors are different. Yay! Now my blue carpet! <laughs> okay, so it is not that time of the month, but that time of the month. That's right! Favourites time! Woo! So, I don't actually have... Oh, itchy nose drugs again. So, I don't have as many as last month. Um, because, yeah, I've been really sticking to the same old, same old routine. So, um, yeah, let's quickly go through these bad boys. So, my first favourite for the month of March 2015... Wow, March. Jeez, where's <laughs> time gone? Okay, so the first favourite for the month of March would be my Stila Colour Balm Lipstick in Sophie. And, sorry guys, but this is limited edition and it is part of their nude collection. They've got a like the spring new collection thing going on at the moment so um yeah so that is sophie it smells like mint slice you know the biscuits mm. it smells like mint slice and it is a really nice color it's like a it's supposed to be the medium nude but it's very corally that's just yeah, how I kind of view it, but it's still a gorgeous colour. Perfect with a smoky eye. And um, just for everyday use if you don't want to think about a colour to put on your lips. So that is um, Stila Colour Balm Lipstick in Sophie. Packaging's really nice too. And it's got a mirror in the top of the lid, but you can't use it, it's tiny. I've tried using it, I'm just like... <laughs> so my next favourite is a blush. And um, I've been a bit lazy with my blush lately. Um, I Sometimes I don't even wear it. Yeah, just do a little bit of contour and that's it. But um, when I do wear it... Lately I've been reaching for my MAC Warm Soul Blush, 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 blush. It is a mineralised blush. It is very soft and has a hint of a uh, little bit of shimmer, but it's not glittery. Um, it's kind of like a rosy gold yeah rose gold yeah but it's just it's a beautiful just a hint of color on your face it's yeah it's lovely um i got this some time ago but it's good to go through the collection and have a look at what you got and go oh i haven't used that in a while so this was one of those things and it's in my favourites. <laughs> okay, my next favourite is... It's a fairly recent purchase, but I have used it in a previous video. Um, but it is the new Hourglass Modernist Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the colour... Colourfield. And it's... 
mainly um, like khaki greens with some neutrals and yeah I've been getting onto the green train lately and I noticed that I don't have very many green like, eyeshadows or anything and this was actually used on me in on my um, hourglass event that I went to uh, a couple of weeks ago and um, it was between this and the purple one which I can't remember what it's called but I'll put the name of it somewhere and um, I've gone let's go the green because I want to know how to work greens <laughs> and wear them so this is beautiful um, I've read a lot of mixed reviews about it and you need to use a product yourself before you form your own opinion. You can read all the reviews in the world, but until you use that product on yourself, that's when you can go yay or nay for me. Um, personally, this one in particular is a yay, but some of the other ones that I swatched in store were nays. I found them very... a little bit too powdery. There was a lot of fallout and I know that these have a very similar texture to the uh, ambient lighting powders and um, like those are beautiful as a setting powder or whatever but that same formula in eyeshadow I'm not so sure of. Um, I just think like this colour here, it's, it's good. But I find it a little bit too powdery. But yet, all the other colours, I, I think it's only because it's matte, all the other colours are perfect. I, I love the feel of them. Um, I can't remember what the palette that I swatched in store and I didn't like was. But if I have a look, I'll put the name of it somewhere. But... Um, yeah, there were, were a couple that I, I wasn't overly impressed by, but I was definitely impressed by this guy. So uh, that is the Hourglass Modernist palette in Colourfield. So I have another eye product. Um, I mentioned this in my Brand Focus NARS video, and it's an individual eyeshadow called ashes to ashes now if I think I mentioned it in that video also but if satin taupe and patina had a baby this would be that baby um, this has been my go-to I don't want to think eyeshadow uh, there have been a couple of mornings where my daughter has been wailing in her cot <laughs> And um, I've had to quickly get ready for work, so I'll just quickly brush a bit of this over my eye, eyelids and away we go. But they are, have a very similar texture to the MAC eyeshadows, which I'm very fond of. Um, but yeah, the, I just like the packaging, it's so cute. But I think NARS are changing a lot of their packaging, so... Um, yeah, I also have Fez as well as an individual eyeshadow, but uh, this has been my go-to eyeshadow uh, lately when I can't be bothered thinking of what to wear. <laughs> okay, lastly, like I said, it's only going to be a short favourites video, but lastly, um, this was also mentioned in my NARS brand focus video, but it is the... <laughs> NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now, I don't want to seem like I'm bragging because I have two, but like I've said before, I can't, I'm, I'm not matched to just one shade, I have to mix shades. It's just the way it is. Um, these are just gorgeous. I, <laughs> I use my phone again. I love NAR Sheer Glow. That is my holy grail foundation. Hands down. Yes. This is starting to kick its butt. I'm sorry 
it is it is just divine um, one pump is all you need you can use one and a half I tend to use probably one and a half because I'm pumping a little bit of both of these um, but uh, how it feels on your skin how it looks on your skin the finish of it um, the fact that you need such a small amount to cover your face um, I just uh, no words guys no words so as I was saying I love this guys it's like I said you need to try it yourself to form your own opinion with anything <laughs> um, I have tried it using a buffing brush I think I used the Zoeva buffer brush and um, pumped a small amount on, on the brush and applied it to my face and that also turned out amazingly it's a more airbrush finish um, fingers are probably the best way to apply it because I just feel that you need to warm the product up between your fingers and then apply it to your face but like I said it's completely up to you how you apply it um, and the packaging is beautiful <laughs> oh, that velvety, velvety feeling top and the frosted glass like that Oh, screams beautiful to me <laughs> um, but yeah honestly if you get the chance to try it do try it and let me know what you think um, but yeah those were my few favorites for the month of March hopefully I'll have a few more favorites in the month of April April but uh, until next time I shall See you then, and be good. So, bye-bye. Hello again. I just thought I might also point out that um, in my monthly favourites video, I'm not wearing any makeup. This is my no makeup makeup look. Um, all I've done is curled my lashes. So, um, I just feel that you should feel comfortable in your skin on camera, off camera, um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon, bye bye!